Hello everyone, Mitch here, and today I'm going to be solving this cube using uh, domino reduction, which is where you uh, basically you solve this cube into a possible scrambled state of a two, of a three by three by two, uh, which is like just these two layers, uh, but it has a whole puzzle, and by that you can actually solve the whole cube. So we'll treat white and yellow as the top and bottom, and we just need to get all of the edges that don't have any white and yellow into this layer. Uh, so I could do something like my, my brain is my brain is breaking from this, but yeah, so these all have white and yellow or yellow on them. Uh, this one doesn't though, so we can like pull this one in. And now this layer, it's not actually solved, but like see now, see now that middle layer is solved. So we can basically just treat that little layer like it doesn't exist. And you see here we have two white or yellow edges up, and there we have two white or yellow edges. Sometimes you'll get one on one side and three on the other. In that case, you can do a move like that to put one. It doesn't matter. Uh, so then we just do an edge orientation algorithm, if you know one of those. Now we've got a cross. And then flip it over and do another one on the other side. Now we've got a cross. Now how do our corners look? Um, one up, so that's a... Not quite a soon, but yeah. But you'll notice that didn't actually work. Um, and there's there's two up. There's, uh, there's two that are still down here. And this isn't actually a legal position for corners to be in. Um, if this were the only place because see this one has to turn counterclockwise and this one also has to turn counterclockwise and that's only uh, two turns as opposed to three which are necessary. So what I'm, what I'm actually going to do is just um, get some corners up on this side like that and then set them in there with uh, this corner insertion algorithm for cuboids and you'll notice that the middle layer is getting a little bit scrambled but that's fine. See, in the middle layer in this cube is going to function like a 1 by 3 by 3, which is also called a floppy cube. So now we've got one side oriented, and we can just um, do corner orientation as if it were the last layer. And I only know soon for that, so that's why it's slow. And at this point, we are reduced to a 1 by... Uh, sorry, to a 3 by 3 by 2 So let's actually... Um, well, first let's fix the middle layer, so just to be consistent. So this edge is the most out of place, so we'll need to turn that and then uh, turn that back. And that's pretty convenient. So on our yellow side, if we just move it like this, we've got three corners in, and the last corner is up here, so we need to insert it with this. You'll notice that will... Uh, mess up the middle layer a little bit, so we've got some depth there. But actually, here's the thing. I lied. You actually need to put the edges in first. So this green edge needs to go here. Um, but instead, I will move the middle layer over so that putting it in cancels that debt. And now, we have another edge that's out. So that edge needs to go into there. And now this yellow edge so the blue edge needs to go into here, so... And this red edge needs to go into there. And now we have debt once more. Yellow and orange and blue, that's, um... That's this one. It's this corner, so we bring that corner over. Do the insertion, bring it back. Boom. Problem is, these three corners also need a cycle. So what we do is we pull one out and then put this one where it needs to go. Again, I'm moving the middle layer to uh, to correct our debt. And now there's no debt in the middle layer, so you can move whichever one. This one needs to go down. This one needs to go in right there. Move the middle layer over. 
And boom, first two layers are now solved, and we already have OLL just by virtue of the method. Um, now this is an opposite swap. From here, <coughs> what comes in, you can solve this however you want. Uh, for instance, I think this is some sort of V-perm. Yeah, this is a V-perm. No, this is a Y-perm. I don't know anything other than a T-perm, so I'm just going to use... I'm just going to make, I'm just going to set this up into a T-perm. Um, and there are different ways that you can set it up into a T-perm. Uh, the way I'm going to, though, is by just doing a whole bunch of T-perms. So you can switch two corners and two edges like this, and that that's a cuboid um, valid algorithm it actually works it's fine now we have to switch these two and those two which is i believe a j perm um however i don't <clears throat> sorry covid maybe i don't know if it's covid or not i want to actually swap uh with this one so what i'm going to do is bring this I want this one one of these edges to be in here and the other one to be here, but one's here instead. So if I bring that down, uh, it's there. Now if I do my swap algorithm, all I have to do is undo those setup moves somehow. Um, this is a case. No. Hang on. Okay, and this is just a U perm. This is a, a three edge swap. <coughs> that algorithm's not valid um, for cuboids, but this isn't actually a cuboid. This is a three by three by three, so that's fine. And that is how I solve a three by three with domino reduction. Thanks for watching and goodbye.